Pac-Man. Do you remember when I mentioned in some review videos that there are no aggro decks in this format? Well, there are a very few. Uh, Token Druid, it's like got an element of board control, but it's m mainly aggro, yes. Tempo Mage with the secrets, yeah, that's mainly aggro. But this, this is an aggro deck. And this is a creation by Firebat. And you mentioned something along the lines of, the decks are getting greedier. Because there are no aggro decks. You hit him in the face with this deck, makes sense to me. We'll keep the Crawler against, um, what's more likely to be Zoom? This is a really slow card right now. But we really want to double Galaka him at some point. So the interesting thing is even Keliseth is kind of a slow card. It's just a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. We can punish slow cards by going to the face. Even though this is a face deck, you have to clear the board a little bit to prepare for the facing. Okay, now we go face. Good. Oh, good! Good! <laughs> I hunt Best hero power in the game. I should just be playing Token Druid, probably. Maybe I should be playing Tempo Rogue without patches. Play the Galaka version. I mean, we're just theorizing on what the best deck is right now for this particular get from rank 2 to legend meta. the value play right there. That's actually pretty insane. It's uh, 3 mana for a 7-6. Sure feels good when it happens. But no pirates to eat. How is that even possible? At least a little bit glad that I tried this deck out before the expansion. It makes me realize that Face Hunter isn't actually that far away from possibly being good. I'm 
if something like this is working out, and it's got Jank in the deck, like Wolf Rider and Reckless Rocketeer, and I mean even tracking, and it has quite a few cards that aren't very good. Do we have any cards from the expansion that are good for this deck yet? I think there have been no aggressive Hunter cards revealed so far. Lol, Flappy Bird, get out of here. Tricked. We'll go for the taunt adaptation. Meta's too strong. Join or die. Like a crawler draw. Why is the rogue killing me? <laughs> Why? No fair. It's supposed to be the other way around. This is all wrong. It's all wrong. Nothing here for me, other than despair. Where are you? At least that was satisfying, punching him for that much. Pow. Alright, so that Face Hunter thing didn't work out too well. Face Hunter is basically Tempo Rogue, but faster. But why do you need to be faster when you can be just so much more powerful? I finally decided to join the meta. You know this deck. Love or hate it, it's a very strong deck.
Hope. Hope. Despair. Hope. Despair. Why not Zulok? I feel like uh, Tempo Rogue is better than Zulok. Is the short of it. My personal opinion. I used to say something along the lines of one of the reasons I play Zulok is because it's better than Tempo Rogue in the 1v1 matchup, but no, Rogue's actually better. It's close, but I think ultimately, when all the math checks out, this deck has a higher win rate. Not too hard to see why. This deck has uh, the rogue deck has more efficient stuff, like the the plant and the backstab and the vile spine. Like Zoo could never come back from this situation. But this deck just might be able to. Just maybe. Hold on, hold on. Ah, this guy's toast. Oh wait, this one actually. Wait, should I have something in my hand for combo? There's only two... There's three cards that require combo in the deck. Cold Blood, Edwin, four cards. SI. And, and we're low enough that we can just throw everything. Also this 1-2 can immediately do stuff. If this survives, I need to have this 1-4-3-1, one, one, so we should sacrifice this guy. So there is a Soulfire and two Doom Guards in that deck, but it's possible he doesn't draw it by the time I kill him. And we can escape by... We can escape one of the Doom Guards by drawing Lich King or Bone Mare or Cart Creeper. Oh, too bad. Womp womp. <laughs> if only I had the Rogue Secret there, we could have evaded the Soulfire Cap. I should have cleared, because the only reason why he wouldn't is because he has coin captain. I'm dumb. I was like, I have captain, so I don't want my guys to trade, but I'm dumb. It's only one damage too, but every single damage can't matter. Wasn't punished here. Nice. So next turn, 
There's two possibilities. Backstab, Firefly, Flame Elemental, Edwin, or Backstab, Slayer. Either could be good, depends on what he does. This would be a Slayer turn. And that's why I didn't do the Edwin the last turn, because saving the possibility to slay something is pretty good. Hey, you're pretty good in this case. <laughs> this guy's toast. Yeah, hey, that's pretty good. Lich King, gobbled up by a plant. Follows heart follows World of Warcraft lore perfectly. That's why I like this game so much. Here we go. Every single game is like a complete reenaction of what really happened in World of Warcraft. This would be really annoying at one health. Maybe I should we can set this to three. And then we can actually go face this thing. For like the half measure. <laughs> Valera fighting Valera with Frostmourne and Tark Reaper was my favorite quest. I like that. Dodges death to um, stuff. Does it really matter which one I hit here? Yeah, it sets up lethal. Well, it gets punished a little bit harder by Bone Mare. No, it doesn't. Bone Mare goes here, anyways. That time Garrosh became immortal and his enemies died of fatigue. All of these classic World of Warcraft moments reenacted. That actually gives him a fighting chance of winning if he hits base with both. Actually, is he favored right now? He was probably favored, but never lucky. I mean, he drew Bone Man, that's pretty lucky. 